up team? This is Ruben again from Finnish Republic, just hanging out in Cabramatta. Today we're going to be meeting our first official trainer coming up to Maryland's club, Mr. Anthony Charrington. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's uh, Anthony Charrington. Everyone can call me Chero. Um, Cheza. I've had a background of playing rugby league for 12 years professionally. Um, we've played for two clubs, uh, Sydney Roosters and South Sydney. Um, so during that time, Obviously, spent a lot of time in the strength or these rooms, strength and conditioning rooms. About to hit a bench session with Chez. So this is uh, what you guys do this in our all. We did this in pre-season. This is a pre-season session, just to test out pretty much your one RM and then your muscle endurance after that. So the way it works is one rep, Imam. So every minute, one rep, yeah. You're gonna work your way up to a max 1RM. After you finish that 10 minutes, have about a minute and a half rest. Then you're gonna do two sets of 50% of what you finish on there. Yeah, so if I get up to 160, I'm gonna half that, obviously 80. Then I'll do two sets to fail. When I was really good, when I got really good at this, I got up to 165, uh, half in that 82.5, and getting around 20 reps for those two sets. All right, but you wanna obviously push yourself. This might look easy on the board, but once you get on here, and the whole nervous system is almost about to shut down on you, it's a different story. So, come follow. How do you guys know each other? We, uh, we went to school together. Met him at school. I was a popular dude. I was a skinny, I was a <laughs> Cole's a skinny dude, coming from the eastern suburbs. This guy was the... I was the Westie, coming Westie. from Fairfield, 2165. Played rugby league together uh, from 10s, 11s. Yeah. Um, and then we sort of like parted ways after school. Yeah, man, we, we reconnected after all those years. Like, we obviously grew up together. A lot of history. Uh, but like you said, we split for a long time. Went off to play NRL. Um, I did my thing, working in jobs I hated. <laughs> And then somehow or another, we ended up reconnecting, what, two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago, man, just randomly, both going through all, side, all types of stuff in life, you know? Um, it was a pretty hard time, eh? I think. It, was, it, was it was a hard time, time for both of us at that time when we reconnected. So, it was sort of perfect timing, man. Since then, fuck, well, pretty much been inseparable. Inseparable. Inseparable, man. Um, started training together, and then soon Which enough. Is better. Yeah, way better. Um, and now we're going to be working together. A whole different ball Slaying game. Slaying the game. Slaying, Slaying the game. game. <laughs> Before you played footy chess, what did you used to do? Before I played footy? Yeah. Well, where? Are you? When we were in school? Swimmer. He's a swimmer. That's lanky. why I'm lanky, bro. <laughs> That's why I'm lanky. This yeah, behemoth used to be a swimmer. Do you believe made, that? Made national, Have a look at him. Nationals couple of years. And then one year I. Um, one year I was running second in Australia for the 53. My time was ridiculous. I was only young, 16, 17. Um, and then I went to the race. It was oh, yeah. weird, because I was fastest off the block. And then I finished last <laughs> in my heat. And then the whole, talk, and then like, obviously the whole uh, event. Walked to my dad straight after it. I was playing footy around then. I was getting okay at it. I walked up straight to my dad crying. So I told him and said, look, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to play footy. Dedicated myself for three years. Straight after I went to Endeavour, met this guy. I was always the better footy player. Always. <laughs> Not even. Always got knocked out. Footy, footy went from there. You know, and I, I, was, I was fortunate, bro. I was, you know, I debuted at 19, 20. 19, 20, 20. Had two years of, of good NRL. Played with some of the best, you know. Played with Craig Fitzgibbon and Willie Mason, Mark Amelia, all these state of origin stars, Nate Miles, and then, I got injured and then for three, four years I was out. You know, I was still getting paid full time, but I was this young buck that had um, plenty of time on his time on his hands. I spent that doing dumb things. You know what I mean? And I think at a place like Fitness Republic, you're gonna get young fellows that wanna do dumb things. And I've I've seen myself as being a mentor to those young people to help them pull them out of that lifestyle. Uh, there's something more at the end of the rainbow. You just got to keep pushing yourself or working your way towards it. Let's get going. So for yourself, bro, mm -hmm. playing NRL. Yep. 
training NRL. Yep. <coughs> Being flogged pre-season. Yep. Injuries, all that knowledge. How do you feel that's going to help you as a PT? How are you going to pass that on to, to our members? The difference between me and Joe Blow down the road like PT, the, the, NRL, the NRL experience that I have has enabled me to, like I know how to train hard. I know what sort of discipline I need to have. Mindset as well. I know what sort of mindset I have. Mentally and, go and there. I, I actually know how to voice that to someone now. So if I was to sit down with you and say to you, you know, um, you know, what's your goals, what's your plans? And they said something generic like, you know, I want to get abs or something like that. I'd say, no, we'll cut that mindset out. Let's train like an athlete and I promise you, you get the best results you ever get in your life. Mm. It's pretty simple for me, man. Like, uh, you know, nutrition, um, your sleep, recovery, your, your, your working out, it's all under one bracket. People think they have to separate things, but no, not for me. You know, I, I lived it and I trained it for 12 years yeah. and I got paid money to do it. You know what I mean? Although mm -hmm. these people aren't getting paid to do it, they're paying someone to help them do that. And I want to yeah. be that person that helps them. Yeah, just give them, give them the opportunity to, to really, freely experience fitness for what it is, man. They totally downgrade themselves. I see it all the time. Being able to mentally give yourself the self-respect to say, fuck yeah, I can do it too. Oosh, you know what fuck I mean? the boy's on today. Damn the man. boy's on today. Don't you worry about this one. 135. What's your record, Anthony? 165. Thanks. Woo! Flying through this, bro. 10 seconds. Two. One. Get it, get it, get it, get it, go, 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 go. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, chop that. That's gonna be the slowest bench in history. <laughs> Three, two, one. Drive it, cuz. Drive, 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 drive. Oh, that's heavy. That is heavy. I want to stop. I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> 30, that's 140. That's 140, bro. Bro, so you did 160. You did 160. See that, baby? What a hero. See that, baby? What a 160. hero. <laughs> you can tell we did world maps, yeah? <laughs> that's a little bit of insight of how me and Chess train. It's always fun and games. Always a good time and always good energy, yeah? This is what we want to bring to you guys, yeah? So come down, come train with us, get amongst the community, get amongst the energy, and catch those gains. For us, man, there are no real rules here at FitWeb, yeah? Obviously our slogan, everyone fits in, everyone fits in, everyone gets fit. We did that last time with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> everyone fits in, everyone gets fit, right? But for us, man, Doing whatever needs to be done to get the job done, which is getting you guys results, honestly. There's no real fancy way to put it, man. We're here to help you guys, we're here to serve you guys, we're here to work with you guys. And, bro, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah? yeah I'm ready Capable. to go. Capable, ready to go. Easy. All right, man, so that's, that's it for episode three. Uh, before I finish up, you got anything? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> anything Absolutely to say? Nothing. nothing to say? I'm ready to rumble. Yeah, you rumble? I'm ready to go, mate. <laughs> I'm ready to go. That's us, man, episode three, meeting the trainers. Uh, Anthony Chero. First one over at Maryland's behemoth. So we're gonna be over there with you guys. Probably the next session or the next episode will be our grand opening, uh, which is probably be about four weeks from now. So until then, man, we'll catch you guys in the gym. Peace. Hey. Yeah, lad. <laughs> <laughs>